Hello class! I'm so happy that you made it to the last class of the day at Acne School. I'm your art teacher, Leah Yu, and today we'll be doing some fun arts and crafts to dive into the connection of your gut health and your skin, especially your acne. So stay tuned. Uh, oh, yes! So I saw online that people actually take like probiotics or eat more kimchi and kombucha to heal their acne. So I was wondering if there is any correlation between like your gut and your skin. This gut right here is a very interesting and a complex system where it houses both good bacteria and bad bacteria and they live together creating this harmonious balance. However, this harmony can be disturbed depending on how we sleep, what we eat, and a lot of the other varying factors in our lifestyle. And that can lead to something called leaky gut. So leaky gut is very similar to what we know about leaky skin. Leaky skin is where our skin barrier is super damaged and compromised and it has like micro tears and micro holes and it becomes like more permeable. When you have a leaky skin, it basically doesn't keep the hydration inside. The hydration literally escapes through the holes and it also allows the external toxins into our skin. So it's definitely problematic, but what leaky gut is very similar to leaky skin, it has basically little holes and tears in your gut lining it's basically failing at housing all the nutrients that should be inside your gut lining so what it does is that all the nutrients and all the things kind of like travel all over the body which can cause you know all the symptoms like chronic fatigue like more bloating gas and also it impacts your skin too so if you have acne eczema a lot of general skin irritations and inflammations you might want to look into your gut health to prove the connection between your gut health and acne, there are several interesting studies that are published. The first one is there was a research involving a bunch of acne patients and they found out the majority of the group actually had a gut health issue called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And when they treated the SIBO or this gut issue, they actually happened to treat their acne as a byproduct. So that really shows the strong connection. Another study that was focused on the effects of fermented dairy products, especially one probiotic strain called Lactobacillus, the results showed a noticeable reduction in acne after taking or ingesting this probiotic strain. So that kind of demonstrates how specific this gut-friendly bacteria can positively influence acne. All of this sounds scary, I know, but luckily we have five ways to improve our gut health in order to improve our skin. Number one is limiting and reducing the use of antibiotics. We learned in the chemistry class what happens when you take antibiotics long term. It can definitely have its own consequences and some side effects, definitely kind of destroying and disrupting the harmonious balance of all the bacteria. Number two is probiotics. Let's make our probiotics Pom pom pals. Probiotics are present in a lot of fermented foods. As we know, there's Greek yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, and all these good stuff, including kombucha. My mouth is salivating now. These are amazing in really promoting the healthy gut bacteria, the gut flora, really aiding in digestion and also promoting your skin health. Number three is healthy diet, especially your diet that is rich in fiber. Fiber is basically the prebiotics, which your gut basically digests into postbiotics. And this is something that your gut really takes and absorbs into whatever bacteria that it needs to produce. Just like our still life subject, a diet rich in fiber is really important to our gut health. Okay, we're gonna make calm down bottles now. Number four is reduce stress. I know that sounds way easier than it actually is, but I for sure know that whenever I'm stressed, everything in my gut just literally doesn't wanna work. So there are a lot of studies that show that prolonged stress can really stagnate digestion in the intestine, also overgrows bacteria that are not beneficial to your gut health and can lead to a lot of other gut health issues so like the great bob ross said it's so important to do something every day that'll make you happy 
Finally, get enough sleep. It's so easy. It really is important. Our organs need rest in order to do its best job. Let's give our body enough time to heal and really maintain that healthy gut skin access. All right, that was it for today's arts and craft class. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Yes, your gut health is directly linked to your skin. So let's definitely take care of these beautiful bacteria inside our gut by having probiotics, fermented food, you know, limiting our antibiotics if we can, and also getting enough sleep. I hope you enjoyed this entire acne school series. If you have any friends around you that might need this information, definitely forward this playlist to your friend. That would really, really help us out a lot. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hope you had a great day at school today and learned a lot. And I know having acne is really, really frustrating, but please know that having acne is also normal. With the right information, you can definitely treat it in the most skin-loving, skin-respecting, and gentle way. Definitely come back to these videos whenever you need to by liking and subscribing to this channel. I'm Principal Leah Yu. Goodbye for now.